Velkomna. Welcome. How many of you, quick show of hands, how many of you are Swedish? Jätte bra. Okay, so I wanted to take this opportunity with all of you during Love Week to, as the American ambassador to Sweden, to happily announce that right here in front of my lovely wife of 10 years, that I am, after just 10 months, deeply in love with Sweden. This country is so full of contrasts. Sweden is the home of ferocious Vikings and great peacemakers. Sweden invented the seatbelt to protect us and Stieg Larsson to thrill us. And food. After a long winter, Swedes celebrate the arrival of the Jord Gubar. Poetically, little men of the earth. We in English just say strawberry. But the Swedes wait all winter for something else, too. They wait all winter for fish to rot and to ferment and to turn into this thing called surströmming, which I am proud to announce has no English counterpart. <laughs> so how, I wonder, can Sweden steer a straight course between these extremes? And the secret I have learned is expressible in one word. It's a Swedish word. And I bet you can guess it, lagom. How do we find this just right balance that allows us to be effective and avoid overreaching or underreaching? And here we are in this transparent, temporary tent. And if we look, I think right over there, we could see the mass of the Vasa Museum, which is, I think, you know, obviously the, one of the most popular tourist sites in all of Sweden, but also a national monument, or certainly a national reminder for us never to forget Lagom. We all know the story. 400 years ago, or almost, this ship had all the latest and greatest technology, all the king's support, all the country's money, almost all of everything except for one thing, balance. It was top heavy, not enough ballast below, and so right there, it went out, tipped over, and in front of everyone, sank to the bottom. Tonight, however, Thanks to the hard work of Henrik and Donnie and the generosity of Cote Ho and the work of the public affairs section at the embassy and all of you in the TEDx community of Stockholm, we have an evening that I think is very Lagom with just the right balance of humor, creativity, organization, little snacks, no rotten fish, and most importantly, lots of amazing ideas that will make this night meaningful and memorable. My final request is that when something you hear lifts your heart or opens your mind, make a note of that memory. And sometime next winter, when you're working on something that just seems too difficult, recall that memory and reach out to an old friend or maybe a new friend you met here tonight and ask for help so we can solve these problems together. Well, thank you, welcome, and skål.